Lexington is on the priority list because she is one of the capital ships uh, lost during World War II that we are interested in locating. And the way that we select the missions is I work with uh, Paul Allen. Uh, and based on geography and the time of year and where we should be operating, and you give him a, a list of the targets in that particular area and we work together to try and identify which ones are, are best suited for the particular time that we have. Yeah, it was also the first time the Japanese uh, really lost to the point where they had to change their plans. Or they were going on the way to invade Port Moresby uh, and start expanding from there to, to choke off Australia, uh, aid to Australia. And so they had to change their plans and then of course it set up you know, their loss in Midway. There's no commercial value, but there is, you know, obviously there is a historic and an archaeological value to, to looking for Lexington. Um, you know, she is an iconic aircraft carrier, one of the very first. She's CB2. Uh, she also, on board, carried a, a very rare aircraft, and there are no surviving examples of today. You know, the Lexington was ultimately scuttled by the U.S. Navy, and so the, uh, the USS Phelps, the destroyer, fired five torpedoes that scuttled the ship. And so they, you know, there is a very specific report regarding the sinking of Lexington and an accurate accounting of where that location was. So this one is somewhat different in some of the other wrecks that we've looked for in that there's, you know, there's so much evidence and so much testimony as to where she went down. dealing with an environment out here that is very harsh. It's uh, thousands of meters deep and it's, it's very unpredictable. The weather conditions, the equipment, you know, we're putting, you know, a lot of electronics and high voltage down to very deep waters and seawater where it shouldn't belong. And so that, that always presents challenges. Getting out here, this is the last piece of the puzzle. You know, to, you, know you do the research, uh, you, you learn a bit of the, the, the story about the ship and and then you come out here and you start looking for it and then once you start seeing it on the sonar, that's kind of the final piece of the puzzle. 